Welcome to the Fastest Motorcycle Show brought to you by Power Nation. Bike builders like Roland Sands, Richard Pollock, and Greg Hagman have figured out a way to bring the look and feel of a classic flat track motorcycle to the street. This gives riders a cool retro look with the muscle and dependability of a modern motorcycle. If you've been wondering how you can turn your cruiser into a fast street tracker, John Boucher is here to help. Now what if I told you that it was possible to start with this 2014 Yamaha Bolt Cruiser and end up with this barely street legal custom street tracker. We're gonna give you a side-by-side -side comparison on this stock bolt and the street tracker that'll show you how bike builder Preston Abrams and America's Motorsports were able to pull this one off. Now this might be hard to believe, but there were zero frame modifications in this conversion. The bolt has a removable subframe, which was taken off and replaced with a custom subframe from Atlas Motorworks. AirTech Streamlining built a Bates Cafe style seat pan and Dave's Upholstery in Nashville gave us the seat that you want on a retro looking street tracker like this one. Right under the seat, you're gonna see that Vance and Hines Competition Series slip-on. But what you don't see is the Vance and Hines Fuel Pack, which is gonna increase your horsepower and throttle response. Another engine mod was to remove the heat deflectors and install Vance and Hines air filter. They installed a number plate and went with the titanium wrap on the engine pipes for more of that flat track look and feel. When it comes to the wheels, you're gonna to wanna to replace your stock mag wheels with spokes. Preston started with the accessory spoke wheel kit that Yamaha makes, and from there, he went with the 19 inch sun rims to match the color of the pro taper handlebars, and then he had the wheels laced at Buchanan's. And I mentioned the handlebars. Now, this is the pro taper woods low bar with pro taper risers. Now that we're looking at the front end, it's a great opportunity for a side-by-side -side comparison. Starting at the top, we already mentioned the Pro Taper bars. Replace the stock brake lines with steel braided brake lines and replace the big bulky stock turn signals with these bullet style signals from SS Custom Cycle. Remove the headlight and add a number plate. Cut a four by two inch square out of it so you can install two stackable Vision X USA LED lights. They added these fork gaiters and then used an angle grinder and sander to cut 10 inches off the front fender. It's 26 inches stock and now 16 inches on the street tracker. Now the front end looks great, but it's the rear that really sets off that old school look. You can see where they removed the stock rear fender and shocks. They replaced it with a Bates Cafe style seat, two more bullet signals, a tail light license plate from Dual Lamp, and the Works Performance custom built Pro Racer Design twin shocks. Last but not least is this throwback paint job by Landon's Customs that was inspired by the King Kenny ears. The gold Yamaha logo and tuning forks are a nice touch. Sure, it looks good, but the question on everybody's mind is, is it fast? The answer is yes. Our friends at Sport Bike Track Time let us join them for a day at Barber Motorsports Park. And I can tell you, for as cool as it looks, it drives and handles even better. This thing was a beast on the track, and as long as you can handle dragging the foot pegs around, I highly recommend it. Looks like John had another hard day of work, as he likes to call it. We have more two-wheeled action coming your way, so be sure to subscribe to Power Nation on YouTube and tune in this weekend for more Power Nation on TV. Catch it Saturday at 8 a.m. on CBS Sports, followed by Sunday at 9 on Spike for all the Power Nation you can handle. I'm Danielle Teal, and on behalf of my co-host John Boucher, we remind you to keep the rubber side down and the throttle wide open. We'll see you next time on the Fastest Motorcycle Show.